let's jump into Cisco Live 2023. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my own number here. Uh, I was at the event and uh, while I was relying on you as you're going to talk in a few minutes about the goodness of everything that WebEx brought to the table. Uh, but, but overall, you know, the overall themes that I saw is how is Cisco helping customers in the hybrid multi-cloud? Mm-hmm. And they have cross-cloud services like security, uh, networking, and also observability. So I thought that was a pretty, uh, a pretty good showing because regardless of, of where companies are, are running their workloads, uh, Cisco is able to monetize it and at a clip of about uh, 70%, 60% gross margin, which, uh, which is pretty awesome. But of course, on day two, they talked a lot about uh, WebEx and uh, not all, all just the UCAS part, but also the uh, CCAS part. And I'll hand the baton to you. Yeah. I mean, first, I just have to ask, Pat, like, is, is it hard for you sometimes to not say I told you so? Because <laughs> ever since I've known you, I hear you say, like, it's going to be multi-cloud, or I hear you say, it's going to be on-device AI. I hear you say these things. And then, like, two months later, everybody's, oh, this is the next trend. And I'm like, what Pat's been saying for the last couple of months. Listen, I am of- not shy about doing victory laps. And like, <laughs> I, tell people, I don't get, I don't get everything right. But of course, I don't, you know, point out when I have it. But sometimes I do point it out where I got it wrong. I got it wrong on OpenStack, right? Uh, but from from early on, it just was apparent that it's a hybrid multi cloud world. And um, based on nothing more than this is what enterprise customers want. And Companies like HPE, Dell, and IBM are just not going to go off and die, right? Yeah. They're going to react. They're going to respond. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I think, you know, I appreciate that you can do the victory lap, but also, you know, call it out when, when maybe you didn't get it right. And actually, I think AI is one of those things where you were like, is this really going to catch on? But then, you know, yeah. when we saw that it's not just chat GPT, it's a lot more than that. Um And this is what we saw with WebEx and Cisco, both on their contact center and um, all of their, you know, they had the catch me up meeting summary. Basically, it was all, not all I should say, but a lot of AI summary capabilities. And this is the catch me up meeting recaps. This is conversation summaries. My favorite thing is the vidcast summaries. So vidcast is just their video messaging service. And if they can do it for vidcast, they can do it for, you know, any meetings, obviously, so to summarize meetings. To me, re-watching a meeting that has already happened is kind of torture. And I really <laughs> want something. And, you know, I mean, you, you and I are very often double, triple booked. And sometimes it's just necessary to watch a, something that has been a meeting that's already happened. But sometimes that's an hour-long meeting. And it's... Yeah. Like, and... and you know, if it's a briefing that is that covers many different verticals, I want to get to the modern work vertical. You may want to get straight to cloud or security or something else. Tell me where that is. Give me, get me to that place. You know, it's just like this trend where everybody's using um, subtitles to watch television. It's because we want to focus on what we want to focus on. So I think these AI summaries that WebEx has introduced is so helpful, especially for video where you can summarize where it is. And that helps you go to that spot in the video. It's not, they're not saying skip the video. It helps you to go to that spot in the video and concentrate on what you need to concentrate on. And then another thing I think is really important is the contact center conversation summaries. You had a great tweet about this, about how it, the press is just sucks. You know, when, when you call somebody, the, the like decision-making trees are bad. The, all of the, the thing, the steps that you have to get to get re- to resolution in a contact center are not great very often, you know? And so, I mean, when, let's just admit it, it's terrible experience. It's it terrible. Really is. It's been terrible since phone trees were invented, I think 30 years ago. Yes. And you know? so when you, and the worst thing is when you finally get to somebody who has an answer for you and then you get disconnected. Yeah. Well, with these contact center conversation summaries, it doesn't matter. 
you get disconnected, the next person has all of the information, the full summary of what has happened, and all you need to do is give them your phone number or whatever, you know, your whatever your identifying information is, and you pick up where you left off. So I think it saves a lot of frustration for both the caller and for the contact center employee. Imagine the, you know, the frustration that is sort of unleashed on those employees when somebody has to repeat themselves. Yeah. So I, I really think that that's just, that's a, that's a really needed thing. But um, so yeah, I think they had a lot, a lot of really great announcements and I think we're just going to continue to see more of these types of things where you can just insert the, the AI to help people do their jobs better. Yeah, I think generative AI is going to bring Nirvana to the contact center. Let's just say for argument's sake, there's 10 steps of the process to get where you need to go. And I think technology has done an okay job, maybe getting us to step three. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what we've done with chatbots and with telephone trees is we end up sending it to a human, right? And that's why uh, chatbot the human uh, services like we've seen uh, with Contact Center, Five9 and in Zoho are, are popular. But what that says though, is the tech just isn't very good. Uh, I think uh, just for argument's sake, if we're, you know, we can, we can, uh, you know, hit three out of 10 with tech today, I think seven out of 10 with generative AI is, is very doable. Uh, and it really was what chatbots should always have been in the first place. Okay. You're going to have escalations, right? That's why I'm not a 10 out of 10, but again, a very unscientific seven out of 10, but going four places in two decades. Uh, and doing it in in one, I think is uh, uh, is is pretty good. And I'm I'm interested to see uh, where Cisco takes this. And and again, I I think customers want this on prem, and they want this in the cloud. Uh, I know five nine will be cloud only, uh, and Cisco will be uh, hybrid multi cloud. And uh, we'll see if Cisco can hit that innovation uh, point uh, uh, on prem.